Hello there, Nana here from Formula. Today I want to show you how you can connect your Formula to more than 3000 apps and tools you use daily. So this is done using an application named uh, Zapier and uh, Zapier connects your uh, Formula to anything uh, you want. So to get started, just get zapier.com, sign up there and log in, then um, click on this button, make a Zap. So for this tutorial, I want to show you how you can uh, connect this form to a Google Sheet. So uh, my, I want to connect my formula to my Google Sheet. So um, I have created this form. Let me save it. And I want, uh, this is a widget form. So uh, whenever someone uh, submits this form, I want to create a row in this sheet. So. Uh, Let's name our zap like uh, neuro to Google Sheet. So uh, let's here search for formula and select it. Uh, for the event, we should say uh, what event we want to start our automation with. Uh, it could be a new form, a new active business, or a new form entry. So uh, let's uh, select a new form entry and continue. Of course, Zapier doesn't know I'm logged into Formula, so he should understand which Formula account I want to connect. So it asks me to log in. Uh, from here, I choose uh, formula.net. Then for the API key, there's a link that will take you to your uh, formula page. Okay, so uh, here I choose what uh, formula account you want to connect and get to the connections tab and select formula. Copy the API key and get back to uh, the page here and paste it right there. So again, the secret key and paste it right there. Yes, continue. It gets some loading and when we get back to our Zapier page after the loading everything will be all right so we hit continue and done so here uh, we should choose what form we want to connect so my form's name is share your feedback so I'll copy that and search it here right and there will be some loading and it continue. So let's test the trigger. So uh, it couldn't find the form entry. It's right because I just created the form. So let's uh, click on view form. Click it twice. So uh, here I have my widget. Yep. I'll open it and let's just hit a submit here. Now um, it can find a submit, a form submit there, so it can test my trigger. Let's click on test again. Yep, there. So perfect. Uh, we have to continue and our step one is done. So now I want to connect my formula to my Google Sheet. So I'll select Google Sheet. The event I want to um, raise when a new form entry is uh, um, submitted uh, uh, is to create a spreadsheet row. So I select that and hit continue. Of course, Zapier doesn't know which uh, Google account I'm logged in. So uh, I choose to log in and I 
select my account. It just asks for permission, so it will be done after this loading. Hit continue. Yeah, so uh, here, which is my drive, and uh, for the spreadsheet, uh, for the spreadsheet, I'll just okay after this one. Skip one. Uh, I'll just copy the name of my form and search it here. Yep. And there's just one sheet there, so. It's easy. There will be some loading and uh, it says we didn't see any headers in your spreadsheet. So I'll just assign some headers so that uh, whenever a row is submitted in this form, it creates that uh, in my Google spreadsheet. So for this, um, I'll say how much like for, this, for the first field and uh, comments for the second field. My form just has uh, two fields, so uh, make sure you have uh, enough headers for uh, each field in your form. So um, I created uh, the field, uh, the header field. So let's say refresh fields. And yeah, uh, the first uh, row in my spreadsheet was how much like so. I will assign it to my uh, field in my formula account. So my formula form, um, it, its name is um, let's say show all options, uh, share your thought with us or how much do you like our services? Uh, the first question, which was how much like, uh, this is here. And the comments section, the comments field is share your thoughts with us. It's my second question in my form. I'll get back to the form to show you how much you like our services and share your thoughts with us. So I basically assign my uh, spreadsheet uh, fields to my form fields. So uh, let's say continue. And let's hit test and continue. Awesome. So uh, let's turn on our zap. And when it's turned on, it will show us this. So um, let's go to our Zapier dashboard and to test our um, form, let's just Submit it again. Okay. Cool. And submit. So let's um, get back to our Zapier dashboard in our Zaps uh, page. We can hit run Zap. Uh, remember that all your Zaps will be listed here. You should run the Zap you want to uh, test. So I'll hit run zap and it will be done perfectly. I'll get back to my uh, spreadsheet. And yes, this is the first row I created and this is the second row I just created. So uh, I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. If you have any questions, just comment down below and share your thoughts with us. And if you have any question, also you can um, email us at info at sign formula.com. So bye for now.